Africa, welcome to Afternoon Express. I'm Bonnie Mooley. Hello, Hello, Jeannie. I'm You're... Jeannie G. Welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeannie is dressed perfectly for today's yes, theme. I am. Got Always a bridal the bridesmaid, theme. never the bride. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a bridal theme in the love today, but also joining us is the amazing, formidable force that is Jo Anstras. Yeah. Yeah. She's got an amazing announcement to make, but we don't want to spoil it. We'll, we'll let you know when we interview. I know. Today's yeah. show is going to be so ridiculously exciting. We also have one of my new favorite people in the whole world in the loft, Dorothy Black. And we're going to be discussing ways to um, spice, spice up, up your relationship. Your relationship. <laughs> one of my favorite topics of discussion, really. <laughs> so please communicate with us. We are live today. So please do comment on our Facebook page, tweet us, Instagram us, yeah. do whatever yeah. you want to do to let us know how do you spice things up in your relationship. Yeah. Jenny, I mean, Danilo's in the kitchen spicing something. <laughs> yeah, I can't quite talk about spicing up your relationship, but I can tell you how to spice up vegetables today. We're juicing on the show on Afternoon Express. Welcome to the show. I'm so excited to have Amanda with us in the loft today. Welcome to Afternoon Express. Cool. This young lady won a really cool bursary from Woolworths and Taste magazine to study, and you're currently in your third year. Exams are almost yes. done, and you're about to qualify. Yes, yes, I am. My exam is in two weeks. So we're kind of getting her on the show today before she becomes incredibly famous, and then it's like too expensive <laughs> for us to have on Afternoon Express. So today she's going to be showing us some incredible recipes, two to be exact, yes. and both happen to be purely vegan and vegetarian, yes, right? That's cool. Correct. So what is this? What have we got in front of us here? Okay, here we have the green juice. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be doing the green juice and the red juice. Uh -huh. And what's in this one is apples, cucumbers, and some... Kale, I see. Yeah, there's, there's some mint there's and stuff. Kale, yeah. There's mint in here as well, apple, beetroot, and they've got like lime wedges and lime zest right. in them as well. So we're going to be playing around with the new range of Woolies juicing ingredients, which are easy to, ready to use. They're easy to juice. Uh, it's brand, brand, brand new. We'll show you how to use those later. Also, we're making a pasta that you can make at home. It's got no carbs in it. Well, it's carb clever because yeah. it's made out of a butternut. I think it's a butternut, butternut. spaghetti yeah. that we're making on the show. It's going to be super delicious, super healthy, and a great way for you to incorporate vegetables into your diet. A lady who I don't think needs any more vegetables has probably juiced since she was five years old. Joanne Strauss is on the couch. Thank you so much, Danilo. Now, she is definitely one of our favourite guests to have on Afternoon Express, and we can't get enough of her. Former Miss South Africa, super mum, influential businesswoman, and one of my best friends. She's got some really big news to share from this past weekend. Welcome back to The Loft, Joanne. Always such a treat to be here. Absolutely. I mean, when you guys say come and visit, I'm always mm. super, super excited. So, yeah, very, very happy to come and share my news with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. You exactly. look radiant. What Thank have you been you. up to since Thank we you. last saw you? Well, um, I've just this weekend been announced as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. Wow. So I am super, super excited about That's that. It is for me such a such a such a position that I that I I mean obviously it's a huge weight on my shoulders Absolutely. in terms of responsibility. Yeah. But I think in terms of having children now, I realize how much more of a responsibility it is to help those children who don't sure. have parents in their lives who are there yeah. as positive role models. So I'm very excited. Well, let's discuss that re responsibility. So what role are you taking on and what does that entail? What will you have to do? So Jeannie, I've been elevated now from celebrity advocate. So I've yeah. worked with UNICEF now for a good while, actually. Wow. Yeah. And now what's happened is they've asked me to elevate my status, which means that now as a as a national ambassador, I take more of a, it's, it's more responsibility, but I also help now in terms of raising the profile of UNICEF, mm -hmm. but then also working with various projects. They've got incredible projects all around the country. And I'm very excited now about getting my hands like dirty, getting right on in there and doing lots of work with them. So Amazing. yes, and we very, know you you're not afraid of hard work. I'm, I'm not. And, yeah. and, and you know, Bonnie, for me, it's also one of those things that I realize, as I said, as a mom, just how society judges or societies are judged on how they treat the most vulnerable. And we're not doing great when it comes to protecting no, our children. No. And yeah. that, to me, is yeah. the important thing, yeah. is that as South Africans, there are various causes. I mean, UNICEF is obviously one of a number of great causes, yeah. um, but I'm very very proud to be associated with an organization that has done so well internationally and that continues to do so Amazing. much work all yeah. across the continent yeah. and the globe. And having said that, we have a clip of you saying something very pertinent about mm. this issue. If you take a look. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I truly, truly believe that children must be taught how to think, not what to think. There's a wonderful, wonderful book called The Prophet by Khalil Gibran, and I want you all to go home tonight and read it. But in terms of children, we have such a responsibility to help our children to create the futures that they want to live in. They say we cannot always build the future for our youth, but we can build our youth for the future. 
And that is so, so true. Thank you so much to UNICEF. Wow. Oh my gosh. Amazing. What's it like to see people just hanging on your every word? <laughs> I wish my children would hang on to my every word. Well, and my, all and my son would listen when I tell him to do something or not to do something. But, um, you know, it is, it is one of those things. And I know, yes, my beauty queen days are 16 years ago. I was actually reminded of it. Coincidentally, UNICEF has its 70th anniversary on the same day that I won Miss South Africa 16 oh, years that is ago. Amazing. So on the 9th of December, we're celebrating that. But for me, there is such a responsibility with having a public profile to mm -hmm. do good, yeah. to do as much good as Absolutely. you can. Because fame without purpose is really quite empty. You yeah. know, you, yeah. can, you can only do... And destructive, ultimately. And destructive, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so for me, I think I'm very, very privileged that I do have, for example, social media platforms, or I do have um, some influence with companies where I can sure. go and say, look, let's speak about how you're spending your CSI budgets. Let's see mm. how you can actually use money that is available to do good for the yeah. most vulnerable. So yeah. that to me, it's it's really such a privilege to be able to use my voice and to spread the message. Yeah. Totally, and you're gonna be doing such amazing work for the children of South Africa, as you've been doing as a mother for your own children. But, you know, let's just refresh your memory. Yes. You were on the show with us and you said that you love motherhood so much that you, are considering having even more babies. How's that so. going? Yeah. You know, gee, Practicing? Um, yeah. <laughs> I think apparently I'm going to get some valuable insight and, and advice on how to practice even better. But yeah, I think I think more children could be on the cards. I'm yeah. loving it. Yeah, yeah. It's quite addictive. Yeah. Mm. yeah absolutely. Should we do it together? Should we all find, keep, you know? Yeah, I think yeah. we could uh, um, do it. I'm getting a puppy. <laughs> keep each other company throughout the nine months. <laughs> no, but it is. It's definitely something I think that's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's what has been the most rewarding part about motherhood for you? You know, Jeans, um, I think just waking up in the morning, uh, my daughter wakes up with the biggest smile. I mean, she's just such Aww. a happy little camper. Um, but the biggest reward is basically when you come home yeah. and that unabated joy, that they yeah. unbridled joy. They're just so happy the and they just... Unconditional love. Oh, yeah. It is, yeah. it is incredible. And I know it's such a cliche, but I think it gives so much meaning to my life or I felt so much... Everything makes sense. Yeah. Um, and, and also just to watch my husband be a father, I think that is incredible. Oh, I, think I love nothing... to watch your husband be a father, Joanne. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> well, watch him do anything, really. No, he's quite OK. He's yeah. quite OK. Yeah. But, yeah, no, he's yeah. quite OK. So, and again, I've got Miss uh, Jeannie to, to thank for my husband. So, yeah, yeah, because she matched me. She yeah. matched yeah. made yeah. in, in a bar. I'm really good at that. Really I'm so are. good at that, I keep on finding myself permanent. <laughs> There's so many options of matches. <laughs> There's just so many. <laughs> no, but it's... It's, you know, there's nothing as attractive as a man with a baby. And, and yeah. you know, I always say, with, if it's your child, and it's not babysitting. so. Yes. yes. Mm. And, and a guy who absolutely embraces it and they're mm. co-parents, mm. you know. So, um, mm. yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying yeah. I'm enjoying that. Speaking of motherhood, your blog, yes. uh, Modern Mummy, how has that grown over the past year? Bonnie, it's, it's grown very, very well. Mm. And I think I was also trying to figure out what I want to do with Modern Mummy. And now I've realised that I want to make it into a platform for moms who are starting their own businesses to actually come up with brilliant. business plans and sort of do a little bit of a a little bit of a, of a place, I, I can't use the name because that's probably a trademark, but a, a way for women to actually come and pitch their business ideas. Yeah. They'll win money from me, but they'll also win access to a business network. So I want to start wow. to invest in other mom businesses because nobody knows Good. what children need as well as moms do. Yeah. Moms so do. Um, yeah, I think I think that's going to be what Modern Mommy is going to become now, is going to be a little angel investor into exactly. mom businesses and, and help moms, especially single moms, because I think that's the big thing in South Africa as well is that there are many single mom headed households yeah. and it must be so difficult to have to work in a job <laughs> which you absolutely hate but you aren't able to leave it because that's the way you're actually taking care of your children but what if there's that burning passion that you have and you just don't have the opportunity to nurture your dream and hopefully Modern Mommy can help other women to fulfill their dreams and live their destinies. Yeah. Exactly. Yay, I love listening to you chat. <laughs> you are absolutely inspirational. You. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to be back with Joanne a little bit. But first, let's cross over to our little child, Danilo. <laughs> <laughs> You're actively acting like my mommy's in studio at the moment, right? So we do have Joanne Strauss with us in the building. And after the break, we'll be chatting more to her. But also later on in the show, we're speaking about your relationships and how you can spice them up. Uh, so we asked you guys, particularly today, share with us some of the things that you do to 
spice up your relationship. Um, and some of the comments that we got were quite funny, um, but I just wanted to read one from Charmaine, who says, a relationship tip, wife, submit your husbands, and husbands, love your wives. That way you guys can find the balance. Uh, Nella is saying, lingerie and home-cooked meals accompanied with good wine. Guys hate girls who want to eat out. Do we, really? Uh, Nandipa says, I always keep my man happy. I give him everything that he needs. And Nandipa, I hope he does the exact same for you so you guys can balance out that relationship nicely. Uh, Charmaine, obviously loving the greens in the kitchen. It's a great way to get your relationship spiced up to make something delicious. Don't forget to send through all your comments. How are you spicing up your relationship at home? We'd love to hear from you. Afternoon Express on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter too. Use our official hashtag, Afternoon Express. We'll see you after this. 